Hey, Daryl. Oh, everyone's on. Okay. Hey, I'm Jackie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hey, Peter. Good. Everyone have a nice New Year's. Hey, Jackie. Everyone. Hi. Yes. How are you? Okay. All right. So you guys are going to need tonight the usual. We're just going to use dumbbells. We're going to be doing shoulders, a um, little bit of chest, triceps, and legs, and cardio. So same as always, whatever you guys have, you guys can totally mix it up, grab what you need whenever you need it. So we're going to go right ahead and get warmed up because I'm late. I got a whole bunch of these vans too now. Awesome. They're the best. I just bought some more too. We'll definitely use them on Thursday. Okay. All right, let's get some arms going here. Big circles. And reach overhead, nice and slow. Stretching the oblique and the lat and the tries. Good, you're gonna reach down towards your leg and just sway right to left as usual. You guys keep going, I'm gonna move you back a little. Roll up nice and slow. And let me turn on my light, hold on. Okay, give me a couple body weight squats. Last one. Good, ankle grabs quick and keep them nice and low, knees together. So Thursday will be virtual. And then next Tuesday, we start in-person classes again. Um, I think that we're gonna just try to record them as I teach at the club so that you have the option to attend here at the club or to watch the recorded version. Need a chest. Good. Twist side to side. All right, so the first thing that you guys are gonna need are dumbbells for an overhand reach. We're gonna step and reach and we're gonna go pretty quickly. So it doesn't have to be a heavy shoulder press, okay? So I'm just gonna use my three since that's all I have. It's a little too light for me, but I'm gonna go with it. And when you guys press, really have to engage the abs to help to keep your lower back protected. We want to always be working the abs at the same time. So we have an overhand grip in three, two, one. And you're exhaling as you reach. Tight abs, knees are soft so that your lower back is not arched. Five, four, three, two, one. Come down. You're gonna bend the elbows just slightly. We're gonna do a lateral raise, but we're just gonna have the elbows bent more than normal. So elbows are kind of behind you. So you're gonna drag the dumbbells up to your waist, up to your hips, I should say. And we're gonna do a raise like this. So instead of being straight, you guys are just bent, okay? Elbows are up. Get, Peter, get those elbows up. There you go. Good, guys. Elbows should be in line with the rest of your arms. Exhaling up, inhaling down. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Dumbbells down. We're moving on to burpees. You guys can modify the uh, modify these if you want to. You guys can go ahead and get started just in case anyone watches the recording. I'm going to go ahead and show some modified options. So obviously traditional, you're coming up, down, jumping out, jumping in, or you can just reach if you don't want to jump and step out and step in. Make sure you guys get those hands up nice and high. Keep going, almost there. One more. Go ahead and march it out. All right, so we're gonna move on to a reverse lunge, but we're not doing lunges. We're gonna hold the lunge and we're gonna do a tricep extension at the same time. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. I did train chest, shoulders, and triceps at the gym last night. So I'm very sore. So bear with me. You're gonna step back. Doesn't matter which leg because we're gonna switch midway through. You're gonna come down, your arms come up, and you're gonna perform your tricep extension while you're down in the lunge. So I'll tell you when to switch. We'll do half one side, half the other leg. Um, if you don't want to lunge, it's totally fine. So, one down, three, all the way into this heel, two, and one. One more. Switch legs and continue. All the way to your front heel and glute. One more rep and come down. All right, shake it out. We're going to go back to the step with the reach overhead. Okay, ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Tight abs. Remember, you're pushing from the abs, from the core. Your back should not be arched, okay? Tuck those hips forward. Engage your core. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, shake it out. Drag those hands up. So let me just show you guys close up. When you're doing these raises, they just look like this. So they're just bent versus less bent. So they're just up here and your elbows end up staying here, okay? All right, three, two, and one. Good, take your time. You're exhaling as you lift. So it's still a side raise, okay? Your dumbbells are not in front of you. They're still out. Good. Good, chin up, chest tall. Five, four, three, two, give me one more. Nice and slow on the way down. Woo, burpees are next. And you guys can begin right away.
One more rep after this. Roll up nice and slow, shake it out. <clears throat> We're gonna move back to the lunges with the tricep extension. All right, here we go. All the weights in your front heel. We're doing eight per side roughly. And switch. And continue. Good, all the way down. All right, shake it out, grab a sip of water. We're gonna go for round three and we'll move on. All right, so we're gonna move back to the shoulder press. Make sure you guys, when you're pressing, you're reaching that foot, okay? Really get into it, we'll burn some calories. Three, two, and one. Again, you're protecting your lower back by keeping your abs engaged. Nice job, guys. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring them down, shake it out, roll those shoulders. We're going to move over to the bent arm shoulder raise. There we go. So we should be out, out to the side. And your shoulders should burn a little bit. Five, four, three. Let's go for two more reps. And one. Woo, all right. Burpee time. Modify if you need to. Also take your time if you need to, there's no rush. Few more to go. One more. All right, good job. Lunges are next, tricep extensions. Exhale up, inhale down. One more. Switch sides. Ooh, those are tough. Keep those elbows up. Don't 
let them come out like this. And relax, take a quick break. I'll go over the next couple exercises. We're going to do mountain climbers on the floor. Then we're going to do an ab exercise. Since we'll be down here, we're going to do leg raises. We're focusing on the lift. It's not about how low you can lower your legs ever. So we really want to keep your, black, your lower back completely flat. So our focus here is the lift and then a slow lower until our lower back would want to come up. So that's going to be about here. Lift and lower. I don't want to see you guys bringing your legs all the way down here. It's just not worth it. Okay, so we're focusing up there. Then we're going to move to, I think we have a neutral press. Yes, neutral chest press. Okay, with the dumbbells. And then from there, we're going to do a Spider-Man crunch. So we haven't done these either. So that's going to be performed in a high plank. I think that will actually sw swap the chest press and this just so that we're not on our hands for two exercises in a row. So the spider crunch looks like this. You bend a little bit the elbows and come back up. Other leg and up. Okay, any questions about that one? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the mountain climbers. You don't have to run, you can step. But remember, I don't want you guys pounding your, both of your feet at the same time. You're keeping this leg up. This doesn't hit, okay? Five, four, three, elbows are slightly bent, two, and one. Five, four, three, two, gently come down, sit back and turn over. Roll down, use those abs, roll down nice and slow. All right, so for this, our head, neck and shoulders are up off the ground and we're focusing on the lift. I don't wanna see anyone's legs down here. Straight legs up, straight legs down. So not a reverse crunch, Peter. Just lifting the legs up and down, straight up. Yes, focus on the rocking. Legs do not come down to the floor. If your legs are coming down far, you're losing this focus. This is the focus, the lift. Very good. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. I just want you guys to know there's so many different ways you can do an exercise like this, but it's not always about how low you can get your legs. Sometimes it's about how well you can perform the crunch. Totally different exercises. Keep going. Your abs should be on fire. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. If you're pressing your back, Nice and flat into the floor. Your abs should be really fired up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Guys, everyone take a look how, how low my legs are going. Not far, okay? Keep that in mind. All right, back to our spider crunch. Hands are under the shoulders. We're gonna start in our plank position and begin alternating. Inhale up, exhale out. Two more. And come down, turn over and grab your dumbbells. We're moving on to a neutral chest press. Roll down nice and slow. 
We're always working the abs. I mean, mine are literally killing me just from those two things. You wanna focus on how you're performing rather than how many or how fast. And you guys can begin your presses. So elbows come straight down your sides. We have a neutral grip. And you're inhaling down, exhaling up, pressing that lower back flat, again, working the abs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, come down, drop those dumbbells. We are back to the mountain climbers. Hands under the shoulders, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees gently, sit back in child's pose, extended arms, all right, back to the ab exercise. Focus on what I said. Take your time, hands are underneath of your head, shoulder blades are off the floor, and begin inhaling as you lift, exhaling as you come back down. Excellent, guys, much better. Looking good. Really focus on using the abs to lift those hips up towards the ceiling. Keep breathing, exhaling down, inhaling up. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Whew. We have a spider crunch next. So I wanna show a modified version just for anyone who watches this and needs it. If you're doing the spider crunch and it's a little too hard on your back or your arms or anything like that, you can just do a tap with your foot to the side, okay? All right, here we go. Let's try to get in 10 or 12, do what you guys can. Three, two, one. You can also eliminate the bending of the elbows, which I'm gonna do because it's really hard on my back right now. Two more. Come down. I should not have trained these muscles last night. All right, uh, back to the neutral press. Whew. Roll down nice and slow. Make sure you guys keep those shoulder blades down here as well. You don't want to lift the shoulders too far off the floor when you're doing your press. And you have a neutral grip. Five more reps. Five, four, three, two, last one, and come down. Nice job, guys. 
All right, we're going to move back to the mountain climber. Let's grab water if you need it. Just going to grab a quick sip. Hands under the shoulders, elbows are not locked. Five, four, three, two, and go. And drop the knees carefully, sit back in the extended child's pose. Arms are out in front of you. Okay, abs are next. Roll down nice and slow. All right, hands under head. And begin. Inhale up, exhale down. Really focus on how your abs feel as they're lifting the hips up for you. It's a really small movement, but it's so effective. Keep it going, keep that breathing technique going. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Spider crunches, last time. Whew. Five, four, three, I'm gonna do the modified version, two, one. Two more. Come down. Whew. There's a top. And back around. Last time for the neutral press. Roll down nice and slow. Okay, here we go. Really focus on your form. You're in control, nice and slow in the downward motion. Five more reps. Two and one. All right, guys, take a quick break. I think the rest of this is off the floor. Let's see. Yes, we're gonna be doing everything else off the floor. So you guys can come on back up. Okay, I'll demonstrate what we're doing while you guys take a quick break. So the first thing is going to be a lateral raise, I'm sorry, a front raise and a regular bicep cross. So it looks like this. Regular front raise overhand, and we're just gonna flip and do a curl. But when you do the curl, because you're using a lighter weight for the raise, Okay, we don't want to use the weight we typically would do for bicep curl, which would be heavier. We want to stay with the lighter weight to protect our shoulders. I really want you to make it harder by going slow on the way down. That's how we supplement for not having the heavy weight that we normally would do for an underhand raise. Okay, so that's exercise number one. Then we're going to just put the dumbbells down, do a quick jumping jacks. You guys know what they are. Then we're gonna move on to a reverse fly. So the reverse fly, I know you guys know these, I'm just gonna go over the form, like a stiff leg deadlift. Okay, your weights and your heels, 
Your back is nice and flat. You're not using your lower back. You're pressing the heels down, squeezing the glutes, and you're just gonna bring your elbows out, arms up, elbows slightly bent, I should say. And you have a neutral grip, so your fingers are facing the floor. I don't wanna see this, okay? I see that a lot in the gym, just kind of like swinging to get that weight up there. Just lessen the weight. You don't wanna hurt yourself. So let's start with those three. And we'll go from there. So we have a front raise and a bicep curl. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. So remember, slow on the downward phase for both. Exhale up, exhale up. Nice, guys. Whoops, I did that wrong. Couple more, let's do three more. Very good. All right. I thought I was gonna sneeze. Okay. Um, now we have jumping jacks. So let's put our dumbbells down. Let's go for 50 jumping jacks. So you guys just count, count for yourselves. The arms up. Seven. Here, Peter, you can do these if you need to. Whatever works. I lost count. Five, four, three, two. March it out. Remember, we never just stop abruptly. And grab those dumbbells for the reverse fly. Yeah. Chest is facing the floor. Nothing moves except the arms. Exhale as you lift to help yourselves. Squeeze the glutes. Lightweight for these guys. Lightweight. One more. All right. Very good. We're going to go right back to the front raise with the bicep curl. You guys are almost done. Here we go. Great job, guys. Way to follow the instruction of the eccentric phase, going nice and slow on the downward phase. That's how you get a better workout. And your shoulders are back. Let's do two more. All right, 
dumbbells down. Jumping jacks to the next. We'll do 50-ish. I'm up to 20. I'm at 30. March it out. Woo. Let's really burn at the ankles, I must say. All right, reverse flies. So reverse flies, if I were doing one at a time, I would probably do half the weight I would do for a regular front or neutral raise. When I do my neutral raise, I use a 10, which is this high as I would go. I really don't suggest anybody at all going higher than that. You don't really need to. But for a reverse fly, I do at least half. Right now I'm using threes, which is perfect. If I were doing them one at a time and holding on to something, then I could go for a five. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to go lighter here. Nothing moves, just the arms are hinging from the back. And slow on the way down, just like everything else. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, lateral raise, last time, bicep curl. Ready? And begin. Two more. All right. Jumping jacks. I think I'm going to go with Peter on this one. I'm going to do 25 jacks and then 25 jogs. Just because I feel, I don't know if it's not having sneakers on, but if you guys are feeling this right around here. Probably because you're not wearing sneakers, unless you are. And you guys can do the job as well. Whatever works for you guys. Three, two, one. Ten. Twenty. Five. Four, three, two, jack it out if you want. Five, four, three, two, march in place. Good job. I think it's not having shoes on and being on a rug. All right, we have reverse flies and then you guys are finished. Whew, grab those dumbbells. Chest is facing the floor.
Two more. All right. Whew. That one fast, guys. Let's do a quick arm stretch. Push those shoulders, uh, flat, hand, flat arm, push those shoulders in. Take deep breath in, deep breath out. Switch. Stretch out your chest. So Thursday, we'll be here in my living room. And then next week, we'll be back at the club but still recording or still doing live at the same time, live and in person and recording. Round your back, exhale, arms up, just reach side to side like we did earlier. All right, roll those shoulders out. How do you guys feel? Good? Yeah, that was a that was a good one. Thank you. Oh my gosh, my arms are I don't know why I did that last night to myself. I did like a hard workout. I did chest, I did the whole thing. I'm so sore today. So that was really tough for me. <laughs> but you guys did a great job. Thanks for paying attention to my instructions. You guys looked great. And I'm sure Vicky, I was... I'm sure Vicky will enjoy watching this recording. Yeah, yeah, she will. I'll proctor, so. proctor her to make sure she's doing it. <laughs> yes, make sure you correct her and everything. <laughs> Thanks, right, Jackie. Guys. You're welcome. So Thanks. I'll see you Thursday. So Idan, you can bring your loop bands for the workout. We'll use, uh, Peter, I know you have them. Daryl, I don't think you do, but it's okay. We'll just still be using dumbbells as I well. Do. Oh, you do? Perfect. So bring your loop bands. Yes, got some. Thanks. Awesome. All right, guys, I'll see you Excellent. Thursday. See you Thursday. See you Thursday. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Good night.